morning, I'm Chris Super. I'm going to teach you the Symphony of Destruction solo. Just going to have a shower and a shave first because I feel terrible. I'll be with you shortly. Just like the bye bye Berlin Kool-Aid, hope you're ready to learn. Uh, let's have a look at our first section. Uh, I'm going to start off with a slide from 2 to 9 on the third string G. So we're going... It's exactly the same idea. 2 to 9 and then I hit it again when I get there. And I go to the next bit which is this. Let's slow that down. The bend's a bit gross. But anyway, so what I'm doing here after I've slid to 9, I do a slide from nine back to seven on the third string, and I go. I'm sliding with my pointer from nine to seven, and then going to six at the string. Sorry, nine to seven, and then nine at the string above. I've then got a bend on the third string on six, and then a quick bend on seven. So I'll do that all together. So after my seven bend, I go to three. So I go. Quite a lot of bend action there. So all together. All right. And then the end bit of that is sort of a lower pentatonic -y thing. Um, on open on the third string, and I'm going to second. All of this is uh, between open and second. All right. Let's slow that down. So I'm going open two. Open two, open two, but on the second time I hit the second fret, I do a slight bend. And then after that, so I've got on that second half is a bend in and out into an open note. And then I go second, open second on the fourth string. So it goes. Okay, this is the whole first section now. Okay, let's have a look at the next section. So we just finished on. And we go into this bit. Alright, let's slow that little chunk down. I'm starting from 10 at the fourth string with my middle finger. And then I go 9, 11 on the third string. And I just repeat that pattern twice. And then with a similar rhythm, I go through 10 of the second string, and then I go 8, 12 on the first string. So all together, I'm going. All right, let's have a look at the bit that follows that now. Now it's a bit awkward on the fingering side. I do sort of already on that pinky from the 12th fret, so. I do a slide from 12 to 14, and then I pull off back to 12. And then I've got to go to the middle finger on the second string on 13, so it goes. So. So one more time, 12 to 14 is a slide, pull off to 12, 13 of the string above, and then back to the pointer. Okay, so look at the next bit. I'm kind of working with some diminished D ideas here. I slide from 14 to 17, and then pull off to 14, and then go to 17, two strings up. So that'll go to the third string. We'll just completely jump over the second. Maybe on 14. And the last bit of that goes. I've got two slides from 17 to 20. So I go, and then at the end of that, I work up this kind of diminished arpeggio thing. So I'm going 17, 19, and then 17 again. All together. All right, 
Let's have a look at the, uh, the third group. Uh, I'm starting on 10 of the second string with my middle. Now, generally, I would have a ring and a pointer here, but because of the eventual pinky stretch, I'm using the middle. So I'm going to slow it down. I'm doing a pull off from 12 to 10, going to 12 of the string above, then back to 10 again, and I just repeat that twice. Okay, let's have a look at the next bit that follows that. I've got the same thing twice at the start of this. It's a big pull off, quite a gentleman stretch here. I'm going from 15 to 10, and then 12 with the string above. And then after I've done that twice, I just do a pull off from 10 to 14 to 10. So it goes all together. Okay. Cool thing about the next bit is that we just take all that information and chuck it on the first and the second string. So I go now, starting from 12 of the first. Still the same pull off from 15 to 10, and then 12 of the string above, and then ending on that uh, 14, 10 idea. So I'll play them both back to back a little slower and you'll see that the fingering is exactly the same. Awesome work, Friedman. Okay, this bit is a little live in La Vida Loco. It's quite crazy, but we'll do what we can. So it goes. That was a relatively slow. Let's have a look at that, uh, break it down. I'm gonna do a pull off from 15 to 10, and then go to 12 with the string above, just from the first string to the second. And then I'll return to that pointer on 10 of the first. And I do a slide from 15 to 19 on the first with my pinky. So I do a slide from 15 to 19, I pull off to my pointer on 15, and then I want to do a flat across the first and the second, so it goes. All right, let's have a look at the largest, uh, most ridiculous arpeggio of the whole thing. It goes like this. All right, let's slow that down. Starting from 22, and I apologize to you strat players out there. We want to go 22, 19, 15, and then 19, 15 again. So I go. I'm doing that all with um, one pick. Then I skip to 19 of the third string. I do a pull off from 19 to 16, and then go to 17 of the string above. And then it just repeats that group twice. So we've got There's one more little bit at the end of that that goes. The weirdest bit about this is that transition. So what I've got here after this, you've kind of got to roll that middle to stop it from having that dumb clunky sound. So we're going rolling to 17 to the fifth, I go 17. 19, 17, 16, and then back to 17 again. And I've got a big bend on 19 of the fourth. Okay, so we'll go all together that last ridiculous arpeggio. All right, we're nearly there. So let's have a look at the next section. We're starting from 11 of the second string. So I'm going to pull off from 11 to 8, and then going to 9 of the string above, that is from the 2nd string to the 3rd, so I go. Then I build that up from 8 of the 2nd string, I go 8, 11, 12, and into 8 of the next string. And then I just reverse that idea, so I go. So from that bottom string I was going 8, and then 12, 11, 8, and then ending on 9 of the third string. Okay, let's have a look at the bit that follows that. This starts from 8 of the second string, using, you know, relatively similar notes. So I'm going 8, 11, 12, 8, 12, 8. And then just reversing down these notes, 12, 11, 8, and then ending on 9 of the third string again. So I'll go... So we got.
At the end of that group, it goes... It's a very weird sort of semi-tony bend there. Anyway, let's work through that. I'm going... From 8 of the second string, I'm going 8, 10, 11, and then 7 of the first string. And then I go to 12, a big stretch here. I'm going 12, 10, 7. 12, 10, 7. And then reversing down 11, 10, 8 from the notes that we had before. At the end of that phrase, I'm on 9 of the third string. And then a weirdy kind of bend from uh, 9, just a sort of semitone on the second string. So all together. Okay, so now we'll just start that little uh, bit after. Now, this bit, um, I don't play exactly the same as the album. It's kind of like it attitude rock out. Um, you don't have to be too specific with it, I think, to get the vibe of it right. Uh, so we're just sort of rocking out a pentatonic thing. So I'll do this slowly. What I do, and you can add your own nuance to it if you wish. And uh, so that's the general vibe of it. So the start of that goes... Doing a flat finger across 12. And hitting the first two strings and then doing a bend on 15 of the second. And then it goes. Which is the same thing three times. And then at the end of that I do a bend. I've got a ring and a pinky on the first two strings and then I'm bending the third string. The other way I guess you could go about that would be to do a flat pinky bend with the ring, but I think in the context of this where my fingers kind of already are, my ring's kind of there, just tuck the pinky underneath it, and then we're back into another verse from there. Hope you've enjoyed Learn That Solo. If you have any ideas for future Learn That Solo concepts, songs you want to learn, solos you want to look at, uh, leave a comment, and uh, it'll be lovely. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks a lot.